Welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So today we're going to take this chunk of um, old trailer axle, which is 41, well, it's kind of like 4140, but more like 1045, so it probably is an actual 1045. It is um, 120 millimeters long, so what's that? That's four and a half inches, give or take a little bit, of 40 millimeter square. So inch and a half. Uh, what we're first going to do is in the press squish it down a little bit down to probably about a hundred millimeters or so and then we're going to go over to the fly press and I'm going to take you over there in a moment and try out some new tooling. Now this piece of old trailer axle has got some pretty significant rust pitting um, so, we'll just have to work with that. But what we're going to try and do is make a three-ish pound... Um, let's have some fun. Okay, I don't know how well you can see this, but what I've made is a stripper plate. And as we go up, this is a H13... Um, punch that I've made has a 10 degree taper um, so it should hold up reasonably well um, 10 degrees is about the optimum for penetration versus resistance to uh, mushrooming and ease of stripping stripper plate is just something I've bodged together I had a lot of trouble welding it so it looks ugly as sin and I will be replacing it it's also made out of greater blade which is overkill for the purpose and I think these are a bit thin. They're only 10 mil. Anyway, so that's how we're going to try and do the eye. We're going to see if we can make it a little more efficient and see if we can get it done in a heat or two instead of the usual five to six heats for tool steel. I can get a eye in wrought iron in about two heats. Um, but tool steel takes a bit more by hand. So let's see if this makes it a bit easier.
more work on the other hand wall just to bring those corners down a bit and we're ready to grind this side.
Okay, so that's what we're going to leave off. Um, this hammer has come out great. Quite a hard face. Um, really happy with the temper. Just generally, it's come out really well. Proportions are not 100% perfect. Um, the eyes displaced the tiniest little bit towards the working face. Um, but be that as it may, it's come out really well. It's a nice hammer, 2.5 pounds on the nose. Um, I was aiming for three, but um, sometimes you just have to take what you get. So that's what I'm going to leave off. Um, this hammer will be up on the Etsy and on some of the blacksmith's trading sites. Um, so look out for it there. Um, yeah. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, when you do, ring the notification bell. So get out to your shop. Refine a skill. Figure out how to upscale, downscale a pattern to suit what you've got. But above all, stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.